Solid run by Clint Boyer in the 14 car. How would you sum up the, this day? You end at P2, but it was a long way to get there. Well, we had to unclog ourselves. Once we unclogged ourselves, uh, we were uh, we were really good. Our you know our Mustangs were, were fast all weekend long. Um, took a while for our Mustang to get good. This Rush Chuck Center's uh, you know Cummins car was was a little off to be honest with you all weekend long. I was pretty nervous coming into the race, and um, you know we just made some Mike and everybody made some good adjustments and you know leaned on your teammates. When you only have an hour with a practice, it kind of pulls you away from maybe something you were trying or you know anything out of your your wheelhouse, and uh, just kind of put us all back together with all four cars at Stuart Haas, and um, you know all in all. Hey, I wanted to catch it. <laughs> I wanted to catch him bad. Uh, he just come out of the pits way too far ahead of me, and wasn't much I could do about it. But um, you know, everybody involved, IT savvy folks were here. Like I said, Rusty and all his Rust Truck Center guys. This is a home track for them. Um, one care, everybody involved. I appreciate everybody's support. Thanks. Thank what you. a great day for Daniel Suarez, finishing third, ran up in the top group all day long. How good did it feel to bring it home? Yeah, a strong run okay. in front of, I know, a lot of family and friends Rip. that you have here today in Texas as well. Yeah, it was a solid day for sure. Um, overall, I want to just say that I'm very proud of Stuart House Racing for performance and everyone that makes this possible because uh, they've, we've been working very hard to try to make the race cars better and, uh, and definitely we're heading that in the right direction. It's the second week in a row that all Stuart House cars are in the top 10, so that's, that's something very, very good. And overall, very proud of the 41 group because uh, we've been working hard to slowly get better and better. And, uh, you know, we're showing that this car was fast the entire weekend. And um, just, just very proud of the effort. Hopefully we can keep heading in that direction and uh, finish in victory lane one day here soon. Hard work's paying off. Great job. Daniel Suarez, third place. Well, Jimmy comes down to Texas. You sit on the pole. You led 60 laps on the day, and you get your first top five of the year. I know you had some issues with your car out there, but reflect on what it was like just to be back up there at the front of the pack battling with those guys. Yeah, it's great to be back in the mix. Um, it's where this team deserves to be, and our sponsors with Ally and Chevy. Um, everybody on board, um, especially, I guess, to add to that, just the hard, you know, all the work that goes into getting these cars to the track and the changes we continue to make. So uh, um, I hope everybody at Hendrick Motorsports is smiling big right now. We still have more work to do, but to have all four cars with such pace, um, I think two or three of us had great results. Um, it's just a, a big step in the right direction for us. An early penalty by Eric Jones. Great recovery. But what is it about you in fourth place here? Yeah, I think that's three in a row for us. So I wish we'd cap it off and just win one of them here along the way but uh you know we definitely had the car to do it i think our craftsman camry by the end of the race was pretty close to being the uh the best in the field but i put us behind early you know we uh <laughs> spinning out on lap 15 isn't really the way to start your day and uh you know we had to really kind of dig out of a hole from there so it's it's uh you can't complain too much when you, when it's your fault but uh you know, it's still a good day. We've had a rough few weeks, and it's nice just to get back on track. We knew this was a good spot for us, and I would have been disappointed if we didn't run well here. So it's a uh, good momentum from Bristol, one of my favorite places next week. So hopefully we can pick up a few more spots and get that win. Talking about getting back on track, the first three races of the year, his average finish was seventh. Had a little bit of a, a rough go the last three, but now back on track with a fourth-place finish. Another top five.